Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And this is going to be a quick video tutorial on how to use the new parallax video background widget found at muse for you uh, Now, when I released the parallax image background widget, um, I kind of got a few requests for video um, and some thought it would be cool to have a parallax effect for video. Um, so here is the example site. And when I scroll down, we can see that the video stays in place and we scroll past the video, then we have another video here and another video here. So you can add as many videos as you'd like and you can have the videos stay in place and we can scroll past the videos here. So similar to the, uh, the parallax image background widget, uh, except we're using video here. And it could really add a, a nice effect to your Adobe Muse website. Um, so to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal you can click here and subscribe with PayPal um, the only widget that's not in the, the subscription is the Muse Morph widget it is a standalone widget there uh, because it's using the Morph, Morph SVG plugin technology from Greensock um, so here I have the parallax video background widget so I'll click on it here and here you, you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for for 39 a year. Um, so I kind of went over this in the beginning, but the features of the widget, um, you can add multiple parallax video backgrounds, you can set the height of the video, you can set the speed of the parallax motion, and it works in responsive design and adaptive design in Adobe Muse, and it becomes a static image on mobile devices. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using this widget on mobile devices, um, so if you're using adaptive design, um, I, I might not add this widget for the tablet or phone version, um, or if you're using fluid width, then I'd, I'd probably hide this widget for the smaller uh, devices or the smaller breakpoints um, just because it, it isn't the best effect for smaller devices. It's mainly for uh, desktops and laptops. Okay, and here's the preview page and here are the widget options. So I'll go ahead and get started with uh, showcasing the widget and how to use it. Uh, so I'll open up Adobe Muse, I'll go to New and I'll click OK and I'll double click on the home page and here we have the home page um, and to access the widget you simply go to the library panel if you don't see the library panel you can go to window and click on library um, and here I'll type in uh, parallax video and we want to add the add first parallax video background widget so I'll click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website and I'll place it here at the top and then I'll bring in the parallax video background widget right in here and here we have a rectangle that's 500 pixels in width and 300, 350 pixels in height. And we can change the height of the video here in the widget options. Uh, but the first thing I wanna do when I add the, the widget is stretch it to browser width. So I'll click on the widget, I'll go to resize, I'll click the drop down, and I'll say stretch to browser width. And this just ensures that the video fits across the entire browser. Um, and then if I go into the widget option, we have instance number. So if you have multiple instances, uh, you can change the instance number for each of the uh, parallax videos on your website. Um, and then we have video width. You can actually actually make it less than 100%. So if you stretch it to brow browser width and you change the percentage here, uh, the video will be um, that percentage within the browser. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend changing this uh, because it just makes the video not fit the entire rectangle that we have here. Um, and then for the video height, you can change the video height here. So if we wanted it to be you know, larger than 350 pixels, we could change it. Or if we wanted it to be less, we could change it there. Uh, and then we have select MP4 file, select WebM file, and select OGG file, and then select poster image. WebM and OGG files are for fallback support. So for browsers that don't support MP4 files, it'll use a WebM or .OGG file or .ogv file. Um, and most browsers now support um, support MP4. So if you add an MP4 file, you should be good to go, but you can add these files for fallback support on other browsers um, that might not support MP4. Okay, so here I'll click add file to select an MP4 file. Um, and then I have this video here, I'll double click and select a poster image. Um, we can add a, a poster image and a poster image works really well because when you're designing your website, you can see how much space the video is taking within your website. Uh, so if I click add file and I'll add this poster image here 
and a poster image uh, for, for, small, for devices that don't support autoplay video, uh, the poster image will show instead of the, the video. Um, so poster image is great because if I go ahead and change the video height to let's say 450, I can actually see uh, the height of the video within the website and this will help with design um, as I'm designing my website. Or I could say 250, make it smaller. And then I could uh, bring up the widget container and this is the space the video will take in my website. Um, for now I'll go ahead and set it to 350 like we had it originally. All right, And then here for the parallax amount you could set it from 1 to 2. Um, one being no movement and two being moving with the speed of the website. Um, and here you can enable parallax or disable it. You can disable right click on video. You can enable autoplay, which I would recommend because there's no play button uh, for for the video. So I would I would suggest leaving autoplay uh, enabled. Uh, then you can loop the video so the video will restart or will loop uh, once it finishes. And then you can mute the audio if the video has audio. Um, and the video will work locally when building your website. It will work locally on Google Chrome. Um, and then once you upload to a live server, it'll work on all the other browsers. Uh, but when building locally, you want to preview your website in Google Chrome to see the video. Uh, and it will loop also as well once it's uploaded to a live server. Um, so now I'm going to add some more widget space so we can actually scroll and see the parallax video. So I'll place it right in here. And then I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And if I scroll down, we can see that the video has some parallax movement. It's not completely still. So the video moves a little bit as we're scrolling the website. Um, and that's because in our widget options, we have it set to 1.7. If we didn't want the video to move at all, uh, we'd set it to 1. And then I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. I'll scroll down and now the video doesn't move and I can scroll past the video. Looks really great. All right, and one other thing I can do uh, to add a little bit more easing to the website as I'm, as I'm scrolling, um, I can bring in the scroll bar, uh, the scroll, scroll bar speed widget and then add some easing to the scrolling. So if someone's not using like a, uh, like an Apple mouse where it's really smooth when scrolling, um, you can add some easing to the scrolling on your website um, so that it, scroll, it scrolls really smoothly past the video. So I'll say ease out quad here, uh, just like that. And I'll place it right here. I'll go to file, preview page, and browser. And I'll scroll, and we have that nice smooth scrolling past the video. Looks great. Okay, so let's say I wanted to add another parallax video. I'll just hit Command-C to copy this widget, and Command-V to paste right in there. And then in here, I'll change the instance number, and I'll change the video in here. Um, so I'll change it to uh, this one here, and I'll add, let's see if I have the image here, yep, uh, right in here, okay. And I'll just bring this down a little bit, and I'll add some more scroll space here. And I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. I'll scroll, we have that video, and we have this video here. So we have a greenhouse video and a video of a lady walking dog all right looks good so that's it for this video tutorial um, it's fairly simple to add the video and the parallax movement you just add the video add a poster image and then change the parallax speed and there are a few other options as well and then you can set the height for the video um, and if I shrink the video it'll keep playing if you do do add breakpoints the video will stop um, just because it's recalling the video on each on each breakpoint uh, but if you're building an adaptive design then you won't have any breakpoints or if you don't have any breakpoints the video will play as the user resizes the browser uh, that's why it might be a good idea to to hide the video on the smaller breakpoints and just have the video on the larger breakpoints um, so that the video doesn't stop if the if the user is resizing the browser or the website will look really good um, if the user does shrink the browser and the website kind of changes to be a little bit more simple. Uh, for me, I like to keep it simple on tablet and mobile and just use these really great effects um, for uh, desktops and laptops to really add a nice effect there and then when the user is you know on a smaller device they can access the website really easily and just look for the information on the website okay so that's it for this video tutorial uh, again to access this widget you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then here you can click on the pop-up here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here 
and subscribe with PayPal. Um, the only widget that's not included in the subscription is the Muse Morph SVG Morphing widget. Uh, it is a standalone widget uh, because it's using the Morph SVG plugin technology from Greensock. Um, and if you did want to purchase the widget individually, you, you can click here on the Parallax Video Background widget. And here you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year with the exception of the Muse Morph widget, uh, which is a standalone. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.